Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with a very special guest. It is Chad Agate, who is the CTO of Namaste Technologies. How are you doing today, Chad? I'm doing great, Rich. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. And why don't we get right into it? And you can tell us a little bit about Namaste Technologies, Inc. Sure. Um, Namaste is a, for everyone that's not familiar, is a successful online cannabis marketplace. Um, we also offer telemedicine services through our Namaste MD application and a journaling application, Upi, that allows us to collect direct feedback to power our AI engine. Okay, fantastic. And Namaste recently entered into an agreement with Chocolat Inc. What does this mean for Namaste and any potential investor? Um, our agreement with Chocolate allows us to really focus in on Cannabis 2.0 with the upcoming extracts and edibles, right? Everyone knows that this is the next phase of cannabis. Um, up until now, with just what's happening in cannabis and just dried flour being available, um, it's really been limited, right? Customers don't have a lot of choice and selection. So our engagement with Chocolate really allows us to capitalize on that, right? Very good. And we're excited about uh, Cannabis 2.0. And I know that we haven't seen any of that yet until I believe it's December 17th is when companies exactly. can actually start putting those products on the shelves. So I've been telling my community that we pretty much can't really see those results until January because that's going into Christmas. So maybe push back that mostly till January where we'll see a big launch. And then you probably won't see any of those revenues showing on companies' balance sheets into Q2 2020. Is that fair assessment? I believe that would be fair, yeah. You know, with uh, the products becoming available for sale in December, uh, we won't really start seeing traction January, February, Q1, Q2. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, how does the team at Namaste make the company so successful? Our, the largest focus for us over the last, you know, like we've been through and spent a lot of time cleaning up our, yes. uh, 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 cleaning up the past. Right? So we've cleaned up and cleared out a, a huge, mega huge amount of baggage. Um, and now that we have that, finally had that cleared up, we're really focused on, on making the company successful. Starting with a few things, getting our who right, who is on our team and who's guiding the organization. We have a very, very strong team to take us into the future and we're super excited about that. A lot of really strong and talented individuals. And you know, it's funny, I, I know quite a, a few members that are shareholders of Namaste and they really believe in the company. Despite the fact the stock has, you know, gone down like most of the entire sector, I believe the entire sector is down 50 to 60% across the board. So I kind of find it comical when people talk about one company specifically going down. I'm like, well, take your pick. The whole sector's down. So you can't just right. talk to about one company. They're all down. When you see Canopy Growth down and they are essentially the biggest company in North America as a licensed LP with the most money backing them and they're down from a high of $70 to as low as 25 yesterday. They've done well today. They're up 13% as we speak after they deal with uh, Drake, which I thought was a huge catalyst. And once right. again, proof of where this sector is going when you have huge global icons like Drake creating a business, a subsidiary with Canopy Growth. I think that's a huge catalyst for the whole sector. It proves that, hey, you know what? When guys like Drake that are very successful are getting it started in cannabis, I think it just goes to show that we're just getting started and the upside is tremendous. Now, in speaking on that, where do you see the cannabis industry moving in the future? I believe the first steps are happening right now with Cannabis 2.0, right? We see as more and more product will be coming online in December of next year, we'll start to see uh, this shift away from dried flour and the continued commoditization of dried flour. And we start, we'll begin to see cannabis turning into more of a CPG product um, where people are just they're buying products um, with very, very specific ingredients, very, very specific dosing, right? And that's where we see where Namaste really sets ourselves apart, right? We are in the middle of that marketplace. We're in the middle of these transactions, right? We're not dependent on greenhouses and grow houses and growing a physical product. We're sitting right in the middle of that transaction, helping people as these products come online, understand first the multitude of products, leveraging our machine learning and AI technology, helping them find the right product for them, and then continuing to filter out and filter down those products, right? So we, we see that as being a key differentiator for us. Now, speaking of being a differentiator, I have quite a few friends that are in Toronto, and they are huge fans of Pineapple Express and Canmart. So congratulations with those 
two huge partnerships because those are essentially platforms that people like and people are using. So I think you guys are on the right track with both of those products. I think that they are uh, very strong um, as far as what customers are saying on the street. All I've heard is good things. That's great to hear. And we are seeing the customers having a very, very positive response. Um, yeah, both and, to the changes that we're making on Canmart and to what we're doing with Pineapple Express. People like their stuff now. Yeah. And the funny thing is, you know, everyone looks at the stock price, but I'm a little different uh, as a cannabis enthusiast. I actually like to ask people, whose products do you like? You know, uh, who's got the best customer service? Who's got, you know, the most lowest cost per gram? You know, these are some of the things that really matter to me. Because when you think of longevity, it doesn't matter what your share price is today. Because if you're selling moldy weed, in the future, nobody's going to want your product. At the end of the day, who's got the best product? Who's got the best pricing? Who's got products that people are coming back to? And I've heard really good things from both Canmart and Pineapple Express. So I just wanted to put that out there first and foremost. Now, in saying that, where do you see Namaste technology heading into the future? Uh, I think we'll continue to focus on um, the same day delivery and continue to expand that and continue to build out our marketplace application, marketplace platforms. We've invested heavily into our technology and our core technology base. Um, and we really see, again, as more of these products become online and become available for consumers, that uh, we'll begin to be able to really, really deeply leverage that technology that we spent this time building, right? Um, when it's just a few dry flower SKUs, and even though it's a few dry flower SKUs, we still have the most SKUs available in the medical market today on the Canmart site, right? Even those few dry flower SKUs, think of the amount of confusion that's out there for the average user. They're like, what do I do with all this? Now let's go fast forward into January of 2020. Now there's no longer just 2,000 different strains of cannabis. Now we have those 2,000 strains in multiples of different extracts, multiples of different products, right? And we're talking about thousands and thousands of products. Just think about that sheer level of confusion for the average user, where Namaste then comes in and says, okay, based on what we know about you, these are the products that we think that will work best for you. Based on what you've told us about consuming these products, these are the products that we think is going to work best for you. Right? And this technology that we've been spending the last two and a half years building really, really will begin to see the results in the coming years. That's very good. So that's very similar to like programmatic advertising. Very. So what, what a lot of people remember, correct. A lot of people remember the acquisition of Findify uh, last yes. year. Yes. Um, the machine learning and personalization company, right? And this is where things start to really, and people will notice this today, uh, currently on the Canmark site. Uh, the product grid is personalized for every single user, right? It's the, dependent on what we've learned about you and how you're, what we learn about your consumption habits. That will change and offer you up products that are more relevant for you. That will continue to evolve and evolve over time, right? The more we learn about the products coming online, the more we learn about you, right? We'll continue to personalize that experience for people. And that's ultimately people want choice and then they want to be kind of, they want to be guided and then able to make a good decision for them. And that's where we sit. Who would you say are Namaste's main competitors and how do you guys stand out amongst the pack? You know, this is a funny question. It's a really difficult one to answer, right? Um, because the LPs aren't really, they're not our competitors. People, uh, they're, are, we're a partner to them, right? We don't grow cannabis. That's, these, these products that we're listing on the site aren't products that we're manufacturing. We help people innovate, but we're, we're helping these people bring their products to market. Right, helping the LPs get their products in the hands of the consumers. So you would call yourself kind of like a middleman then? Yeah, we are. We're sitting in the middle of the transaction, right? You're in the middle, um, right? Yep, yeah, exactly. And we're, you, create, we're, you create a store, an online store, mm -hmm. where people can go and they can buy all these different ancillary products from other LPs. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what's happening. And through our model, our consignment model, which is really helping us preserve cash, right? Everybody knows what's coming. There's a lot of cannabis companies were able to raise a ton of money over the last few years. So yes. right now, it's, for us, it's all about conserving cash. So leveraging that model, we're having LPs that have a, a lot of products. And there's, they're like giving us this product now on consignment. We're holding it in our vault to be able to fulfill without burning any cash. It further extends our runway. It keeps our cash position very, very strong, which is mega important going into next year. Very good. Now, where can viewers find more info about the company? 
Uh, you can always see more information at namastetechnologies.com or at Canmark, www.canmark.com. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Chad. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. We will be watching very, very closely. Our entire community really, really wants to see Namaste succeed. Uh, we have a lot of investors that are in on the stock. So hopefully the rest of 2019 can finish very strong for you guys as a company. And hopefully 2020 can be a great, great year for Namaste. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Chad. Have a great day.